What's up? I'm just making this video because I found out how to play Diablo 4 with the PS5 and Nintendo Pro Controller wirelessly um, through, I'm showing my, my me recording the screen right now, but through this program called, uh, or this application called BNet Launcher. Uh, I'm doing this now because I saw it on maybe Reddit somewhere, but there's nothing on YouTube and that was where I look first for how to do anything. So I figured I'd upload something to help you guys out. So go to madalien.com slash stuff slash bnet launcher. Scroll down to the bottom. You'll see a section called downloads. And I'm going to do uh, this zip file here. I'm going to download it again. I have this all set up, but I just want to give you confidence that uh, I didn't, wasn't, I wasn't afraid of downloading this file. Essentially, I went to my SSD. I made a folder called bnet launcher. And then I just dragged uh, this guy over and I copied it to this folder, and then I just uh, deleted this. I didn't need anything else anymore. Um, so what we want to do is launch Diablo through Steam, which skips the Battle.net launcher, which is the main problem to why your wireless stuff isn't working. And I'm showing my face because I'm going to show you that you know I'm actually going to do the controller wirelessly at the end. So now open up Steam and go to Add Game, add a non-game to Steam, or add a, sorry, add a non-Steam game to Steam. Browse, and then find your BNet launcher. Open the file. You'll hit add select programs, but I already have done it, so I'm hitting cancel. And when I go to your, when you go to your library, you'll see on the left side, BNet launcher. Uh, what you want to do is right click and go to properties. And you'll see this thing here that says launch options. Go back to the website, scroll back to the top, and you'll see this nice friendly table here. Uh, out of Battle.net, I want to play Diablo 4. The code is D4. I go here, I type in D4, close that window, and I'm done. Now, um, I need to connect my controller. Uh, the first thing with the PS5 controller, you should plug it in first to get the software or whatever the computer needs to get it connected. If you want to play wired, it's no problem. Just launch Battle.net and play the game wired. But if I, I like to sit in this sofa bed behind me in my guest room and play on the TV that's above the monitor here. Uh, so just to show how I do it, I'll remove the device. Okay, yep, you hit the PlayStation button, as you know, and the capture button at the same time. I don't know why the camera's in black and white, I'm sorry. Okay, now it's blinking colors. I go to add Bluetooth device, Bluetooth, dual sense controller. Boom, thanks, done. Uh, close this window. All right. Now, uh, this doesn't work sometimes if I just launch the game. I usually have to launch it in big picture mode, which you go to view, and then you choose uh, big picture mode. But I found out today, actually, if you just hit the home key of any controller, boom. Auto launches big picture mode. Uh, right now, I'm having trouble getting on to... Diablo, but let's see uh, what happens here. So here's the BNet launcher. I hit X, hit X again. And if it fails to launch, I would say make sure the game's updated through the BattleNet launcher. Um, after you, if it fails to launch, I would just down, turn your computer off and just do it all again. Uh, and there's no input lag either, which is cool. So maybe you'll see it here if I, when I hit X to skip these movie scenes. Let's see if I can actually get in. Oh, so, uh, I mean, I guess <laughs> you can see that I'm playing wirelessly. It's pretty good, no input lag. I wasn't able to get on before, but let's see what happens here. Oh, baby. And then I'll show you some extra stuff like um, how to change the the controllers and stuff. So you're going to get, unfortunately, the Xbox buttons are going to show up instead. Um, so here, let me leave the town real quick so you can just see that the buttons are actually working. I can do my moves. Show me your moves. Oh, get the hell out of town, dude. Let's go. All right. So here, 
x oh, x square l2 uh triangle uh right bumper r r trigger yeah you get you get the deal you know, everything moves down to teleport up to go to here all that stuff no input lag i'm so shocked so whenever you want to get back to the steam thing it really feels like you're playing on a console you just hit the the home key and I go over here, you go to controller settings, uh, just go to edit layout, and then anything that's bothering you, like usually you wanna flip these two, the start and select buttons based on if you want the map or whatever, um, and you just click on it with X, and then just go to the thing that you want it to do, so and then you just hit X on it. I want start, so I'm gonna choose that, start. Done, so yeah, that's how you get it to go. I hope that helped. And uh, that works for all the Battle.net stuff. Take care. Brush your hair. <laughs> Peace.